In this episode of Blue Byte Backstage, we will take a deeper look back to this year's Gamescom, which had more than 340,000 visitors coming to Cologne. In several shows, Blue Byte presented the complete lineup. But first of all, we want to take a look to the community who were able to contact our Blue Byte team at a special booth. Ich bin Masaiko. Mein Name ist Piri76. Ich bin die May Ann. Mein Nickname von die Siedler Online ist Le Rue. Ich bin neu hergekommen, um meine Gildenleute endlich mal zu treffen, auch im realen Leben. Noch ein Bierchen vielleicht nachher mit denen zu trinken und ähm, mir anzuschauen, was es alles für tolle neue Sachen hier so gibt an Spielen. Ja, bei mir war es auch primär die Gilde und sekundär einfach mal gucken, was die Gamescom ist. Man war da auch noch nie drauf. Köln ist in der Nähe. Einfach mal mitnehmen. Um viele nette Leute kennenzulernen vom Blue Byte, ein bisschen mehr Hintergrundinformationen zu erlangen und ja, äh, nette Leute zu treffen, welche aus meiner Gilde und äh, ja, mich weiter darüber zu informieren, wie es weiter bei Siedler geht, was sehr interessant und auch sehr spannend ist. Einen herzlichen Gruß an meine Gilde UE30. Ich grüße alle Siedler, freue mich, dass ihr alle so zahlreich dabei seid und ich hoffe, ihr habt alle Spaß. Wir grüßen natürlich unsere bezaubernde Gilde, unseren Gildenleiter, den Marv. Und ähm, ja, wir wünschen uns alle zusammen eine schöne Gamescom und wir rocken das Ding. Tschüss! Now let's talk about one of our games, Anno Online. In a spectacular show on stage, Baby Shayan and Baby Monty showed some new stuff about the game. Now Baby Monty will give us a short summary of this. First of all, we showed an introduction of how to play the game. Everybody who hasn't played Anno Online yet is able to see what it's all about. Afterwards, for example, we showed the new Visit Friends feature, which means you can actively visit your friends in the game. Our example for this is Bolle, who's very active and has already got a very good economy. Of course, we want to show all the things that can be seen on his island. For example, we can copy his production, see some of his building techniques, but we can also support him with buffs so that his production will increase. Here at Gamescom we also showed the new monuments that we introduced last year. They took some time, but for a special reason. We thought one monument is not enough, we need more, which of course is way better. We all know the cathedral, but here at Gamescom we have also shown the botanical garden, which easily enables you to produce several resources on an island. Here you can have one more resource than usual, and it's the only way to do this. It will be available in Anno Online later this year. Also always present, fan reporter Connie. She filmed all the interesting behind-the-scenes stuff. In a short interview, Connie told us how she got the special chance and what her job exactly was. Hi, my name is Connie and I'm from Dresden. I have won the Anno Fan Reporter project in March on an event. On this event you were supposed to share your most positive Anno experience as breaking news and write about it. That's how I won. They gave me a camera and I just walk around. I try to film what's going on here at Gamescom in terms of Anno Online. Took some shots of the crowds rushing into the Anno Online fan booth. I also filmed some shows on stage when goodies were thrown into the audience. It's great fun to be here. There was also a special community dinner where real fans had the chance to meet up with the Blue Byte development team. Besides all the already known titles, Blue Byte also announced a brand new game, Panzer General Online. We talked to the associate producer of the game what we have to expect here. So Panzer General Online, this is actually a fresh new step in the Panzer General franchise. And uh, what we did is we combined elements of trading card games with tabletop games. And something that was also pretty cool is that uh, we have this really cool battlefield. And on the battlefield you have these high detailed miniatures. I think all of us used to play, uh, I know I did, with toy soldiers and stuff like that. And uh, we thought that was a really cool idea. So we have all these miniatures, so we have tanks, we have infantry, we have artillery. Artillery, uh, my favorite aerial warfare, so you can uh, 
drop some bombs on your enemies. So that's kind of in a nutshell uh, the game. It's a really tactical game and it's turn-based. You can play as the, like you said, the Allied and the Germans. And uh, what's kind of cool about it is we have 100 hours of single player gameplay, and we spread that out over four campaigns. Uh, what's really cool is that all the battles in the game, they're really inspired by events that took place during World War II. So if you're playing the campaign as the US, you're really experiencing, experiencing, I'm sorry, as the guys in the US Army did. And when you play it as a German army, you get like different quests and uh, different terrains and different settings. And what we also have are these um, situations, like these puzzle quests, where you're actually really playing things that actually happened in World War II. And for instance, you have only a few uh, German units and you're surrounded by American units. And so that really puts you in that situation where uh, those guys were during World War II. The whole game, uh, as the title says, Spencer General Online, it's really all about you as the general. So you level up your general, and as you level up, you get skill points, and you can use these skill points to customize your general. For instance, you can spend a skill point if you want to have uh, your reserve units show up a turn earlier. So our focus wasn't so much on, hey, let's level up all these individual units. No, it was really like, hey, I'm a general, it's World War II, and I'm leveling up and I'm, you know, in command of my troops and we have a big battle coming up. So that was really the mentality. Yeah, we used the free to play model, but what's really important for us is to communicate that in our game, there's not a trace of pay to win. We actually believe that free to play is a great model because it really gives you a lot of freedom to add things later. If the community says, we, we hate that mode, we can do something about it. If the community said, we love this, we can make it even better. But of course, you don't wanna, you know, annoy your users. So what we do is we use the positive things of free-to-play. So no blocking, uh, no pay to win, but access for everybody and everybody can uh, check the game out. And talking about the open beta or closed beta, actually we're about to go in closed beta, so that's gonna happen this year. And if uh, people go to our site, panzergeneral.com, they can actually register for a closed beta key already, and they will be notified when uh, the closed beta goes live. That's it for this time at Gamescom 2013. See you next year.